If you're interested in fashion, you'll want to hear about an upcoming opportunity for young people. Joe Ross is joining us this morning. First, Joe, it's good to see you. Prefer in person, miss seeing you in yeah. studio. But this is this is an opportunity for some young people in our community. It really is. Fashion Council is 25 years old, which I can hardly believe. Um, but it's a program that many uh, children and teens join and they stay in it for six, eight, ten years because, you know, Angie, not everybody can be a football star or a cheerleader, but if you like fashion and think it would be fun to learn about fashion and professional etiquette, then this might be just the perfect match for you. So what are the requirements in terms of who can apply for the Louisville Fashion Council? Ages for this range from 6 to 12 and then 13 to 20. Uh, that's really the only requirement. I don't recommend that someone in Paducah uh, plan to join this council because we do meet once a month for one hour and it's normally at a 7 p.m. time frame. So the, between Mall St. Matthews and Oxmoor Center, uh, it needs to be a sensible driving distance. Definitely. I mean, so if you want to come from Paducah, I mean, definitely, then then go for it. But just remembering that that is part of the it once chosen, that that is part of the responsibility is attending that once a month meeting, except for, of course, inclement, dangerous weather that would cancel schools. Right. If the Jefferson County schools are postponed or they're let out early, then we will follow what they do and our meeting will be postponed. But that doesn't usually happen very frequently. And um uh, we certainly welcome anyone that has interest in it to participate. Now, in just a minute, we're going to get an opportunity, Joe, to meet a couple of members of the council. But what is it that you enjoy the most? I mean, you definitely have built a name, and a, a reputation and a legacy even. I mean, in this industry here in our community, I mean, people know that you are a go to person. So uh, you're what very do you gracious. The most? Well, I find that young people show so much enthusiasm for the area that I love. Um, you know, I have 52 years now in the fashion business and I go to Fashion Week in New York. Sometimes if the members of Fashion Council really enjoy uh, working alongside me, they can become an intern and then they're often invited to go to the fashion shows at Fashion Week in New York with me. Um, but it's that enthusiasm and spark. Um, I not only produce fashion shows and do television segments about the upcoming trends, but I also uh, do some museum exhibits where we're curating things, say, from the 1920s. We just did an exhibit up in Maysville that was 60 outfits, um, including the decor that would have been typical for that era, uh, be it a, ref a ice box in a kitchen, or it'd be a theater, or it'd be an outdoor lawn party. Uh, great fun. And again, if you're interested in fashion, the history of fashion and the clothing designs that have been put forth uh, over the years are just a wealth of information and, and ways to learn about the terms of fashion, the fabrics, uh, the detailing. Uh, so I welcome their help. And of course, their great energy for me. Absolutely. Now I'm going to add Ellie and Joanna now, these are two members of the Fashion Council. And Ellie, let's start with you. How long have you been on the Fashion Council? What year and where do you go to school? And what have you learned the most from being a part of the council? Um, so originally, I joined Fashion Council freshman year. This will be my third year, and I'm a junior at E-Town High School. I joined Fashion Council um, as a way to make friends and just kind of boost my self-confidence. And since then, I have learned so much, not only about myself, but about a lot of fashion. Um, I've become more comfortable with myself and um, have learned to embrace some of the styles. And I've made things that I never would have made otherwise. And I've also learned a lot about the history of fashion. And I have been educated not only on like styles, but also um, people that are involved with it and what it takes to become a model. Absolutely. Fashion is supposed to be fun, and, and it's, it's clear that that's a part of this as well. Joanna, the same for you. What year and where do you go to school, and how long have you been on the Fashion Council? And then also, 
what have you learned and enjoy the most? Um, I've been on Fashion Council for two years. And what I've learned, I've just learned a lot about fashion. And I've enjoyed making friends and being in fashion shows. And overall, it's just really fun. Joe, you asked um, Joanna and Ellie to join us today. Can you tell us anything about these two young women here? Well, of course, one of the things about Fashion Council that I really uh, insist upon is that when they come for that hour that they're very respectful and they listen, they're enthusiastic. And as you can tell from both these young ladies, they exude that. Um, this is not so much about look at me, I'm a model as it is. I know how to handle myself in a professional environment. And uh, if, if you think about it, when we do a fashion show, a television appearance, I borrow from stores, hundreds of pieces of clothing and accessories. And obviously the models that wear them have to be very careful, very responsible for uh, the safekeeping of those things because when we're finished with them, they go right back to the store. So they all are expected to be very careful. They have to be quiet backstage, even though they're excited and they have to keep track of what they've been handed Obviously, I have an extensive inventory of what we take, but the models are then the extension of being sure that those things don't get damaged, soiled, ripped, any of that, because I can't take them back to the store that way. Well, it's clear that these young women who are representative of the other council members that you have are the right individuals. And maybe there are some young people out there who want to join them as well. Thank you so much, Ellie, Joanna, and Joe, for joining us this morning. If you're interested, just email joefashion at me.com or call 502-777-8507. The deadline for submission is 4.30, October 30th.